Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro Marvel Legends Series Disney Plus Wave 5 Hydra Stomper Builder figure. Here we have the Yelena Belova figure from the Disney Plus Series Hawkeye. And it's cool to get this figure, but a couple of things. Uh, this figure could be better, but it is pretty good while still not being great, if that makes sense. Um, I was surprised that this figure actually has a lot of reuse. I did not realize, but this figure has the same legs um, and same arms from the uh, previous Yelena Belova figure. The arms are the exact same, the legs are the same, the torso is different, and then the hip pieces are um, are different. Other than that, uh, the same leg from the thigh down to the feet, um, and then the arms in their entirety, uh, yeah, those are the same. Actually, the hands different? Uh, the hands might be the same. Hands are probably the same, um, except, oh, we do get a fist. So, yeah. Um, so I'm a little bit surprised. This is a better figure than this one. Uh, the Florence Pugh likeness is really good. This one was pretty good, too. It's just oddly shaped, um, that's set really high on the head and everything like that. Um, Florence Pugh, this does not accurately re reflect, um, you know, Florence Pugh, in my opinion. Uh, this figure does a little bit of a better job with it. Still not great. Uh, but the head sculpt is a whole hell of a lot better. And I really see the likeness uh, to Florence Pugh in the head sculpt. And, the, the, you know, the ponytail and everything on there is really cool. Um, so, yeah. Um, it's, again, not a great figure because, you know, double jointed elbows would be really good. But she has a lot of great bend on these elbows. And it's actually pretty good. I think what would have set this figure apart from... Um, you know, from good to great would be if she came with the, like, the head sculpt, like the comic version with the, uh, the night vision goggles or something. That would have been pretty cool. I will try to swap the heads to see if this head can fit on there. You can kind of fudge it. Um, but that would have been really cool if she would have come with that head sculpt. But unfortunately, she did not. Um, but anyway, we'll kind of get into it. So here we uh, looked at all the figures for the Hydra Stomper Builder figure pieces. Um, she comes with the torso piece for the Hydra Stomper there. Um, and that's pretty good. As you can see, that's just, this is a much smaller Hydra Stomper than the big ass deluxe one that we had gotten previously. Um, and then in terms of accessories, she comes with these baton pieces. I'm not sure why she came with these. I don't really remember her really using these um, in the show. Guns would have been cool, um, I guess. Um, and then she also comes with a pair of fists, so it's good that we get interchangeable hands. Uh, so those are all of access her accessories. Next up is going to be Kingpin, and then we're going to take a look at the Hydra Stomper Builder figure. Here at the back of the package, we get that comic artwork to kind of represent that style from that Hawkeye run. So that's pretty cool that Yelena and Kingpin both get that same uh, comic style uh, going on there. Um, I got my figure, my whole wave from ToySnowman.com. Unfortunately, Yelena Belova is currently sold out because I knew that she would definitely be one of the more popular waves uh, figures in the wave. But check out ToySnowman.com anyway for all your action figure needs. Link in the video description below. It is my referral link. So for first time buyers, you know, use that link, get a 5% off coupon code in your Frost Rewards. And again, all your action figure needs, whether it's Marvel Legends, Star Wars Black Series, Transformers, G.I. Joe Classified, if you're looking for figure art stuff, if you're looking for Mezco stuff, if you're looking for DC Multiverse, if you're looking for uh, Joy Toy Warhammer stuff, um, they have it all. So ToySnowman.com, make sure to check them out. They are based in Canada, but shipped to the U.S. Um, so yeah, there we go. Close up on Yelena, let's do it. Okay, so here's the close up on Yelena, and if you ask me... This is a perfect Florence Pugh head sculpt. They even have how her nose turns up a little bit at the end. This head sculpt is fantastic. It's deceiving because when you look at it here, it looks like she's got short hair with a mohawk. She does not. They fully on did fully on. They full on did her hair in like the braid and everything that she had in the show, and it's sculpted very nicely, as you can see there. There is some sh um, dry brushing in there to bring out the, kind of the blonde uh, highlights in there. She has this other ponytail piece i don't really remember her having that second piece in there but that's in there again a little bit of that dry brushing in there for the hair to bring out the details so yeah so it's not a mohawk that this would lend you to believe or like that's what i thought i was thinking why does her hair look like that but no 
full on hair. It looks really good uh, there. So I think the likeness is awesome. Uh, we get some paint work. So here on the Widow Stingers, you get some red paint going on in there. Um, on her pants, we get this gold and green stripe down the front, down the front on both legs. And then down here in the middle of the jacket, the jacket has some sculpted detail to it. As you can see there, going into the back of the figure, same thing. We get a little bit of that gold paint going on in there too. The rest of the figure is just all black. So not a whole lot else going on for it. But again, uh, looks pretty good. Uh, guns would have been nice. And I'm trying to think. I'd have to go back to the show. Hawkeye was actually one of my favorite of the Disney Plus MCU shows. I don't really remember her using these batons. Um, but she comes with them. So there's that. Guns would have been good. But again, that night vision goggle mask would have been even better. It was so cool if she would have come with that. Okay, so let's go over Yelena's articulation. So the head is on a dumbbell joint so she can look down that much, so not too shabby. She can look up, eh, not really a whole lot. The hair actually surprisingly doesn't really get in the way a whole lot. It's just that she doesn't, the head just doesn't want to uh, look up, so unfortunately. It does sit a little bit high on there, so at some points you can really see a lot of gap in the neck between the head. That's a little unfortunate, so if only it was down a little bit further, you know, that could work out great. But as of now, you can get some really good head pivot going on there, which is good. And you can do a full rotation in the head. Uh, the arm, you can get to go straight on out like so, which is great. You get a full rotation in there along with the single jointed elbows. That means no bicep swivel. Another That's one of the other benefits to double jointed elbows. Uh, so, uh, uh, unfortunately, no bicep swivel. We do get a swivel at the elbow. And then we get a single jointed elbow, which gives us crazy bend. So that is really good bend on a single jointed elbow. Double is still always better, in my opinion. Um, but because again, the big benefit ends up being the bicep swivel that we would get. Uh, the wrists swivel, so these open hands have vertical hinges, and then the fists have standard horizontal hinges um, on them. We do have a diaphragm cut on here that's pretty good when it comes to tilting to the side. So tilting to her left, she could tilt that much, which is great. She could tilt to her right that much, which is really good as well. Uh, going back is a fair amount there. Coming forward, though, just like every other figure with that forward motion on the diaphragm, uh, almost non-existent. It just does not come forward a whole lot. You get swivel at that diaphragm, of course. Legs go out that far apart, which is pretty good. She can kick forward. Ooh, hold on. That doesn't... She can only kick forward that far. That's not very good at all. Doesn't go back. Upper thigh cut in there. Uh, double jointed knee, like so. Um, it is ugly joint there in the knee because the legs are semi thin, so it, it it is pretty ugly looking in there on that knee piece. It's just yeah, it has like a separation. It just looks very, very odd. So that's unfortunate. It does have pins. As again, this is reused from the Black Widow movie. Uh, Yelena Belova figure. Uh, there, no boot swivel or calf swivel. Foot hinges down. You get some hinge up, ankle pivot, peg holes at the bottom of the feet. Um, the, the 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 single the knees they're not real gummy or anything like that. She's she's sturdy. I'm not, there's no risk of like her being able being difficult to stand or anything like that. So it, it again it is pretty good. Um, aside from the arms, I just again bicep swivel is is a lot better with a double jointed elbow, but. As it is now, still pretty good. The only, my biggest complaint still with this figure is always going to be not getting that unmasked head sculpt. So, it's unfortunate. Okay, so a couple of Yelena Belova figures. The two MCU versions and then we got the comic version that did come out um, earlier this year in the Puff Adder Build-A-Figure Wave, I think it is. I am going to do some head swaps. Now, you guys know I hate head swaps. I don't like them. Some of these things just don't make sense to me. But this one is going to make sense because I feel like that's something that we missed out on is, you know, the, the goggled night vision head sculpt. Ooh, I hate popping some of these heads off because I'm scared they're going to break. So that pops on there. And that could work out pretty good if that's something that you wanted to do. The skin tone of the neck does not match the little bit of the face. But I think this is extra pale because of the paint that went over the black plastic of the head sculpt. Uh, but that is something that could work if that's what you wanted to do. And that actually doesn't look too bad. Uh, we're going to pop off this Yelena Belova head sculpt. And we're going to see if the new one goes on to... The old body, and it sure does, but god damn, look at that. That is not a good look whatsoever. So that's not going to work. That scares the hell out of me. I'm going to pop that off. Uh, let's see if this new one will go on to the comic figure. Um, it does, but it looks funny, I think. Yeah, that does not look right, in my opinion. So we're going to take that off, because that's scary 
and ugly looking as well. We're going to get this comic one. We're going to put that one back on that one. See why I don't like doing all these damn head swaps. Uh, let's see if the old Yelena head goes onto the new body. Um, and it does, but then the problem is, is it looks a little small and then she doesn't have much of a neck. It's not terrible, uh, but I don't think it's great. So I just think, you know, that this head sculpt was just too small for what it was. Um, I guess it works on this figure because the torso is a little undersized in my opinion. Um, but if it's something that you wanted to do, technically, yes, you can do that. But let's get all of these things back the way are they are supposed to be. Um, and then, boom, we have our Florence Pugh Yelena figures there. And of course I have to show her with Black Widow Natasha. We got our sisters here. Um, and should their heights be this different? I feel like they should be closer in height together. And now that I think about it, how was this height? See, that one looks a little bit closer. So the biggest issue is the, the height difference between these two is fairly significant. Uh, but anyway, there is uh, Yelena and Natasha. Okay, so here are all the Hawkeye figures that have been released so far. So as you can see, there are seven, although it is five separate releases, plus Kingpin will make six, or total of eight figures if you do one of the each heads for the Tracksuit Mafia figures. Uh, so Hawkeye, a uh, lot of figures for it. It has the second most amount of Legends figures released. Falcon and the Winter Soldier has the most. Um, that just had a lot of releases, uh, but Hawkeye is kind of getting up there, and Hawkeye is actually my second favorite Disney Plus show. My first favorite is Loki, second favorite is Hawkeye. Um, I just really like the show. I just felt it was, the rewatchability of it was, was there more so than a lot of the other shows and everything. I just thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, so now getting to add Yelena and getting to add Kingpin to the mix um, is, is really awesome. Really, the only thing that we're missing now from Hawkeye... Um, would be a Maya Lopez Echo figure. Now, when that show comes out, I would think we would get a figure for her. So, I don't think this is the final Disney Plus wave ever. I think this is just the fifth wave, and we will continue to see more. And however long down the road, we will get an Echo figure, probably some Daredevil figure. Um, I'm sure we're going to get it. But I think for the Hawkeye show, we need to get that that Echo figure, I think it needs to be something that comes out. Hopefully we will see that. I think, I would imagine that they would because Hasbro has given us so many of the Disney Plus shows and then even, you know, years later, like we just got Agatha Harkness in this wave. So it's still possible. I hope to see it. You guys let me know down in the comments below. What do you think of the Hawkeye show? What do you think of this Yelena figure? Do you think we will get a Maya Lopez Echo figure in the future? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. If you're interested in uh, supporting the channel, please hit that join button to become a channel member and be a part of the MCU Collective. And as always, thank you for watching. Okay, and if you stuck around, I forgot to show all the figures together. So here is how the wave is rounding out when adding in Yelena to the mix.